Imagine a time before time, a space before space, before stars, galaxies, or planets existed, there was nothing. No atoms, no light, not even a void to contain them. The story of the universe's birth is fascinating and mysterious, a tale of grand cosmic events and intricate physics. How did it all begin? And why does this question continue to perplex humanity's greatest minds? We'll explore the story of the universe's origins, touch on the most prominent theories, and delve into some of the more controversial debates surrounding this epic topic. The most widely accepted explanation for the universe's beginning is the Big Bang Theory. But contrary to its name, the Big Bang wasn't an explosion in space, but an explosion of space. Around 13.8 billion years ago, a singularity, a point of infinite density and heat, exploded outward, expanding at an incomprehensible speed. In the first fraction of a second, the universe was hotter than anything we can imagine, filled with energy and tiny particles like quarks and gluons. As it expanded and cooled, these particles began forming protons, neutrons, and eventually atoms, the building blocks of matter. In those early moments, fundamental forces like gravity, electromagnetism, and nuclear forces separated and began shaping the universe. Within 300,000 years, the universe became cool enough for light to move freely, a stage called recombination. This light still exists today as the cosmic microwave background, a faint glow that fills the universe and serves as a time capsule of the universe's birth. Over millions of years, galaxies, stars, and planets formed, ultimately giving rise to the cosmic architecture we see today. One puzzle the Big Bang Theory struggled to explain was why the universe looks relatively smooth and uniform on a large scale, a revolutionary theory proposed by physicist Alan Guth in 1980. Inflation posits that, in the first instant of the universe, just a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, space itself expanded exponentially faster than the speed of light. This ultra-rapid expansion stretched the tiny fluctuations in the quantum field, which later grew into the galaxies and voids we see today. Inflation also solved the horizon problem, why distant parts of the universe have the same temperature despite being far apart. According to inflation, those regions were once in close contact before they were flung apart during the rapid expansion. The multiverse concept is one of the most mind-bending extensions of the inflationary model. Some cosmologists, including Guth and Andre Linde, have suggested that inflation might not have stopped uniformly everywhere. This idea leads to the possibility of eternal inflation, where different regions of space could continue inflating at different rates, each giving rise to a separate universe with its unique physical laws. If true, our universe might be just one of many a bubble in an infinite sea of universes. These other universes could have entirely different constants, dimensions, or even particles, making life as we know it impossible in most of them. While this theory remains speculative, it challenges the very notion of what the universe means. The Big Bang and inflation theories, despite their success, do not answer every question about the universe. Two major mysteries still haunt cosmologists, dark matter and dark energy. Observations of galaxies show that they move and rotate in ways that can't be explained by the visible matter they contain. Something else must be contributing to the gravitational pull in these galaxies, something we can't see or detect directly. This unknown substance called dark matter makes up roughly 27% of the universe, but scientists have yet to figure out what it is. Could it be a new kind of particle, or are we missing something fundamental in our understanding of gravity? If dark matter is mysterious, dark energy is downright baffling. Observations of distant supernovae in the late 1990s revealed that the universe's expansion is not slowing down, as one might expect after a Big Bang, but is accelerating. This accelerating expansion is attributed to dark energy, a force that makes up around 68% of the universe. But what is dark energy? Is it a property of space itself, or something even more exotic? No one knows for sure. These two invisible components, dark matter and dark energy, together make up about 95% of the universe. The remaining 5% is everything we can see, stars, planets, galaxies, and us. This means the majority of the universe is made up of things we still don't understand. And the nature of these forces is one of the most hotly debated topics in cosmology. While the Big Bang is the prevailing model, it's not without competition. Over the years, several alternative theories have been proposed, 
offering different explanations for how the universe began. Once arrival to the Big Bang, the steady state theory suggested that the universe has no beginning or end and is in a constant state of creation. As the universe expands, new matter is continuously formed to keep the overall density of the universe unchanged. However, this theory fell out of favor in the 1960s after the discovery of the cosmic microwave background, which strongly supports the Big Bang model. Another intriguing alternative is the cyclic universe theory, which proposes that the universe goes through an endless series of expansions and contractions. According to this theory, the universe might one day collapse back into a singularity in a big crunch, only to explode outward again in a new Big Bang. This cyclical pattern could theoretically repeat forever, with each universe emerging from the ashes of the previous one. A modern twist on the cyclic model is the ekparotic theory, which suggests that our universe was born from the collision of two higher-dimensional brains in a multi-dimensional space. This collision ignited the Big Bang and created the universe as we know it. While intriguing, these theories lack the same level of observational support that the Big Bang enjoys. Despite the incredible progress we've made in understanding the universe's origins, many questions remain unanswered. What caused the Big Bang? What is dark matter? And why is the universe accelerating? And if the multiverse theory is correct, does that mean we are just one of countless other realities? Cosmology is an ever-evolving field, and with each new discovery, we get closer to understanding the ultimate question. Where did everything come from, and what does it all mean? The quest to unravel the mystery of the universe's beginning may one day lead us to answers we can't even imagine today. And in that journey, we might discover not just the origins of the cosmos, but our own place within it.